What I'm going to do now is walk you briefly through a code file. This code file is very well commented. I've already gone through it and added to it most of what you really need to hear about each command. So this, this uh, screen capture instead is just going to show you some of these results and point out the parts that are most important. But what you should do is go to the code file and read it carefully. First, let's talk about graphics. You already know that you can create a plot it has different colors and symbols in it. So here's an example of a plot like this. What if you want to add a legend to this plot? So to make a legend, you use a command called legend. You need to have already created the plot. So you call up the legend afterward. First you make a plot, then you add the legend. If you try to make a legend when there's no plot open, it won't work. The first argument of the legend command tells the tells R where to put the legend. You can either use a phrase like bottom right, top right, center, etc. Um, or you can look at the help file to see what's appropriate here. Or you can specify the location in terms of coordinates. What are the x and y values of where you want the legend? So I want to put this legend in the bottom right of my plot. And then let me make this legend and then explain to you how, how each of the arguments work. Here's the legend. You provide a vector called legend. Legend is one of the arguments to legend, confusingly. A vector that contains the text you want for each of the rows in your legend. So here I've got legend equals, and then a vector containing the four labels that I want to use. You make a vector containing the symbol numbers, or the symbol indicators. You make a vector containing color. So the colors here are black, black, red, red. The symbols are circle, triangle, circle, triangle. That's what these two vectors here represent. You can also use a command called fill with colors to make boxes that have colors in them. There's an example of that later in this file. But what you want to use is vectors for the labels and then to describe these points. Here's another thing to know with plots. When you make a plot, the default is to make separate points, as you see here. But you can also connect those points together or you can do both. So here I've set type equal to O in my plot command. O means other. And what that does is it plots the points but also connects them together. If I had said type equals L, there would be a line but no points. Often it's helpful to add points to a plot after you've already created the plot. So here's my plot, but suppose I have more points I want to add to it. I can use a command called points. Points is a lot like plot, except it doesn't call up a new window. It adds to the previous one. So if I have points and then I list the x coordinates, the y coordinates, and the color and the type, that's going to make a line connecting some dots for a different set of points. So once you have a plot, you can add a legend to it, you can add points to it. What else can you do? You can also add a line to it directly um, using a command called lines, or you can also add text. Okay, so there's some text. Here I have specified the x and y coordinates of my text. For labels, I said what the text should be. I gave the size of my text, the color of my text, and you can see there it is. With a text command, each of these arguments could also be a vector. So perhaps my first piece of text should be the word first placed where x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 4. Maybe the second piece of text should be the word second where x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 4. And maybe I want both of those to be blue, although I could put a vector here as well. Maybe I want both those to have size 1.5 times the default although I could put a vector here as well. If I run this line, there we go, first, second. So you can add lots of things to a plot once you've made it.